Did y'all see this fight? Remember this? When um, Dennis Lieberdev and uh, Marat Garcia fought in a unification unification fight. Um, let's go look at it. Hold on. I didn't even know that Dennis Lieberdev was supposed to be fighting tomorrow. Right now it's September the 6th, 2018, um, 7.24 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I have to cover this fight. Because now he wants his title shot against undisputed WBC, WBA, WBO, IBF, Ring Magazine, Muhammad Ali Trophy winner, Alexander Usyk. So, for those who don't know, it's a real, real confusing, complex situation. For example, let me go to the WBA website and explain to you that the WBA has four cruiserweight champions, three heavyweight champions, and just don't even get me started. Let's go look at it. Here's the WBA um, official page. Okay, so you have Alexander Usyk, who's the WBA super champion, Babette Shumanev, WBA world or regular champion, Dennis Lieberdev, who's the champion in recess, and Ursuline Gulliamarian, the WBA interim champion. So, of course, they have to unify all these titles, and in some way, I do agree with them wanting um, Alexander Usyk to fight Dennis Lieberdev. If you don't know, the... WBA has ordered um, um, Usyk and Lieberdev to have a deal done by October the 24th. Now, of course, the WBA can be finessed, but if they are finessed, then this is going to throw a kink into the story of Eddie Hearn not being able to finesse the WBA in regards to them ordering Joshua versus Pavekin. So let's say, for example, if um, if if Usyk versus Bell you happens now, Eddie Hearn has said it's it the only way it happens it has to be for the belts. So let's say Usyk versus Bell you happens and Dennis Dennis Lieberdev takes a step aside um, um agreement and then the winner has to fight Lieberdev to, um um after that or they get stripped, then that would make Eddie Hearn and the WBA somewhat of a uh, hypocrites, right? Because they didn't do that for Joshua versus Wilder. But let, w w w whatever the case may be, the WBA has to consolidate all those titles. Me personally, I understand, you know, like Tony Bellew's got some got, got, got some got some balls. He's got some real big balls. And, you know, he, you know, no, nobody's really giving him a chance to win. It's a payday for him. And it's for him to show that he's got really, really big balls to go in there with the undisputed cruiserweight champion of the world and he could say that he fought for the undisputed uh um, um cruiserweight you know title the guy with all the belts by the way tony bellew was the wbc emeritus champion he was never stripped of his title he never vacated the wbc elevated him the, the emeritus champion is kind of like a champion in recess except tony bellew wasn't in recess he was in recess from the cruiserweight division yes but he wasn't in recess from boxing. For example, Vitaly Klitschko is the WBC um, Emeritus Champion. Floyd Mayweather is the WBC 147-pound and 154-pound Emeritus Champion. But whatever, you know, and I, like, I understand, you know, that, that, that Usyk versus Bellew is a big fight, especially over there 
in the uh, UK. Also, there's been some rumors that Eddie Hearn may be signing Alexander Usyk. It's crazy, you know, but I, I don't. I, I'll believe it when I see it. But um, I don't. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I would have to. I would have to see it. But whatever. The the what I'm what I'm trying to say is, you know, I understand that you know it's 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 a big fight. You know, for you know Tony Bell, you to be fighting for the undisputed. But at the same time, I would want to see those WBA titles, you know, unified. The WBA shouldn't have made all those titles in the first place. They gotta go. They have to have a a a, a, a unofficial. Look at this. Look at this shit. You think this shit is cool? You like this bullshit? Damn woman beaters. I'm gonna beat that woman beater down. This is not cool. This is not cool. I don't even know who this chap is. Let's look him up. Who is this guy? Let's look him up. This is some... How did you get this belt, sir? Oh, he's Armenian. 23-0 and 0 with 15 KOs. How did you get this belt? How did he get it? This is crazy, man. This is crazy to me. Oh, this guy was 24 and oh, who did he fight? We doing some CSI right here. We going Williams a condo. This is this is this is this is all too biz this is all too bizarre. This is all too bizarre, man. WBA's got to get their shit, man. They got to get their shit together. I'm tired of this shit. You know, I can understand, like, fans are really, really upset that, um, you know, Dennis Lieberdev is fighting tomorrow. I, I don't believe it. Let me go. I don't believe it. Where's the news? Where's the news? Box rec, are you, are you shitting me, box rec? Are you shitting the you shitting the can? Y'all see this? Look, you think I'm you think I'm bullshitting? Y'all see this? It says that he fights this guy. I've seen this guy somewhere before. Ah, uh -huh, I covered this fight. <laughs> I covered this fight. Damn it. Shit is weird, man. WBA is weird as shit. We gonna see though, you know, for for the for the fans, for the people, you know. Let let let's hope that they go through with. Uh, I mean, let's hope that they let Usyk versus Bellu go through. But if they let it go through, then that means there was some type of step aside agreement, and the WBA agreed for it to go through. But they didn't. Agree, they wouldn't agree for Wilder to go through. Not Povetkin. Mm -hmm. The people are going to ask some questions. The people are going to be asking questions. I'm Teacher Controversy. This is Teacher Controversy Live. Please subscribe.